Hey guys, welcome to the sixth Let's Play for Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm excited, got things figured out. Um, the hubby is somewhere around here. That always excites me too. I'm in so much love with him. Uh, let's see. Oh, I just, more spindleweed? There's a lot of spindleweed. I'm trying now to maybe focus more on recipes and stuff. Before, I kind of ignored it. You know, kind of got lazy. Oh, whoa, whoa, did I just find more stuff? Oh, let's go up and get it. Because I found, when I did play this for a while before, it actually came in really handily, handy to um, make your recipes. It actually helped a lot. I honestly didn't expect it to help that much. I, I'm one of those guys, I don't like spending a lot of crafting. I get impatient, which is why stealth games are hard for me. Uh-oh, demons. However, I think we're going to try a new thing. It's a new channel. Let's try for new patience, guys. There we go. Whoa! Let's get, let's get out of here. I did not know he was that close. Let me drink some potion. Close fade rift. Let's do it. Close it. Oh, nice. See, I didn't even realize I, I wasn't paying attention to the rifts. So this is really good. This will get this out of the way, too. Ooh. Oh, I never noticed that stuff was hanging that was holding it. Somebody intentionally opened a rift. Okay. Oh, wait. Wait, so there's loot. Give me, give me the loot. Ooh, more power. Excellent. We have to take... So we do also have to go back and show these to specialists so we can upgrade our ability to fight these things. I've been kind of lazy and not done that. And damn, that's a big mountain. Ooh, iron. We need iron. What I need is a logging thing. A logging stand. That's what I need. See? Where do I find a logging stand? I always find it really amazing how much better I do when I actually plan out my abilities when I actually like make recipes and when I like prepare myself. I'm honestly just not surprised with that. It, it's just kind of weird for me because I'm impatient. This has been a good experience. This game actually has helped me learn that a lot. It might help with my next um, Assassin's Creed, which will be pretty soon. I think I might even run it concurrently, mainly because um, honestly, come on, just die, dude. Just die. Go down and die. I don't know why. You take forever. You have a lot of armor. If you if you did follow me on my old channel before I closed it down, um, you noticed I sometimes would offset just so I had one video a day. I'm going to set these up. If I do, because I sit down and do a bunch of these at a time. And what I'm going to do is I'm set up one day per video, but I'm not going to necessarily split it. I'm not going to have, if I have two things running, it's not going to be one, one thing, one next thing. Each one will have one a day until they run out. I'm not going to worry about having a steady stream because I'm always usually ahead anyways. But this way... You guys don't have to wait 50 days to get 20 LPs. Because that kind of sucks. I decided I didn't quite like that. It wasn't quite what I was looking for. Ooh, look at them go down. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You don't need to do that weird speed thing. I don't know what that's about. That just seems kind of overly done, guys. Oh, oh, come on, come on, electricity. Hurry up, hurry up, electricity. There we go. There we go. You guys just need to go down. My guys are doing really good. Whoa, get off me, get off me. Can you get off me? Really, seriously. Oh, I got to up my level. I totally forgot I'm up a level. See, I get impatient and I don't pay attention. What I like is it's like also location-based, so I do way more damage from behind. I'm just chatting away today. Today's a chatty day. I am pretty, ha pretty happy doing it. That's awesome. Um, you'll refer hear me refer I occasionally. Confess, so I am surprised you decided to remain. Why? The breach remains a threat to us all. Just the same. I wondered if you might leave now that we have a plan to seal it. Ah, because I am an apostate. I might flee before the Inquisition throws me in chains. I take my commitment seriously, Seeker. Come what may, I shall see this through. As you wish, though I cannot guarantee what will happen in the days to come. Okay, did you guys know before you attacked, I was busy doing something, I was listening to them talk. But um, you'll hear me refer sometimes to my old channel name because I'm so in the habit. I've done it, I did that for three years, like a thousand videos. So, so I sometimes refer to. But um, if I say the name Lucky, that is me. So that that is actually my name. So don't don't freak out about it. Don't um think what is he talking about? Because I have had people in the past go, "Who is Lucky? Is that a real name?" Yes, that is a real name. Is there? What am I looking at? There, Lou. I knew there was Lou. I could see it. I probably should really get over and see Dennett. Except I have things everywhere, like... 
Oh, whoa! Don't stop with the whole, like, shield bashing thing. Like, I do notice, though, if I can get behind them, way more damage, guys. Let's, okay, so let's up my level before we go any further. Oh, my God, the wisp. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. There we go. Okay, we're working our way closer, ever closer to Dennett. But I want to clear out the areas as I get to them. Because I really feel that is a better way to handle it. Ooh, there we go. Oh, that shock, you guys. Was that shocking? God, I love this game. This is, I'm having a ton of fun, guys. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I think we'll do it. What I also have learned is hit the guys in the back first. They're not pegging at you while the big guys run up in front of you. That is the one thing I've... Seriously, why me? Why is it always me? That's what I want to know. It's always me that gets killed like that. Well, actually, I haven't died yet. No one has died yet. I'm really impressed with that aspect, actually. There we go. That should take care of it. Oh, nope. Still not down, huh? That's tough. There we go. Now, let's read this. Templar encampment. Brothers, we must listen to the call of the Maker himself, who has given us the duty to destroy these mages. By the rebellion, they have forfeited the right to live. They are not people, and any order that asks us to end this just and righteous battle is a lie. A test sent by him to separate the faithful from the foolish. Join us off the West Road and fight for a worthy cause. Letter written in a crisp and educated hand. I'm wondering, that sounded also very paternalistic patriarchal, whereas Andraste is supposed to be the big one. So, so obviously they're bad guys. All right, so... Let's claim the area first. Is this the claiming spot? I think, no, I guess the claiming spot's there. So let's take the mosaic piece. And let's claim. Fort Connor was constructed by young Arl Amon after the relations were driven from Ferelden. It was named in honor of Amon's father, who died at the Battle of West Hill, and after whom the Arl named his son. Amon was determined for Redcliffe to stand as a shining example of Ferelden's strength. He constructed Fort Connor to watch the King's Highway and protect the hinterlands against all enemies. It proved its fortitude against Darkspawn during the Fifth Blight, suffering damage only when the Darkspawn deployed emissaries. Amon said proudly at the time that Fort Connor was unbreakable by anything short of magic. And for that, thank the maker we have Templars. Excerpt from The Living Redcliffe by Sister Dorcas Gurin. Garin? Gurin? All right, let's loot. It's looting time, guys. Come on, loot. Loot. Ooh, ooh, we'll have to armor up too, but let us up everybody's level. I don't have any. However, Solus does. Okay, guys, I upgraded um, Varric's armor. That I never did that in the first one. I'm already feeling way better about how I'm working with this. So we secured this area. We're going to keep going. I'll see you guys as we get closer to Dennett. Okay, I look at this. All I can think of is the man needs an axe. The man needs a weapon. I don't know if any of you get it. Game of Thrones reference. Yes, I know. I'm kind of a dork. Let's get rid of these mages, though, guys. The mages are easier overall because we have enough magic to pound on them, and we have we have Cassandra. Cassandra's enough to kick some butt. She really does kick some serious butt. Oh, another thing to read, guys. Templar encampment. We must be ready to fight not only the mages, but those who sympathize with them. Have not the mages' blood magic to trick the minds of the unwary? Are not most people as we know them sheep, ready to be led by those who speak with authority? The people must be protected from the mages. It is our right and our duty. But those who supply them with lyrium, those who offer them comfort and food, those who shirk their duty to supply us for our worthy effort, they are sympathizers who have lain with demons and breed only abominations. And they must be slain as such. We will wage our war from our camp off to the West Road, and we will not stop until the world is clean. A letter written in a crisp and educated hand. We will take care of that after we take care of Dennett. I think Dennett is my most important mission to get the horses so I can travel faster, guys, because this is really slow travel. There must be something here. So you're the Inquisition, eh? Hey, watch yourself, Inquisition. It's ugly out there. Name's Dennett. I served Arl Eamon for 30 years as Horsemaster. I hear your Inquisition is looking for mounts. It is. Can you help us? Not at the moment. I can't just send a hundred of the finest horses in Ferelden down the road like you send a letter. Every bandit between here and Haven would be on them like flies on crap. 
You'll have mounds once I know they won't end up as a cold winter's breakfast. If you have a problem with me personally, I'd like to know about it. What? Because of what I said about mages? All the trouble magic's causing around here might well take a mage to fix it. That's all I meant. My wife Elena manages the farms and Bronze in charge of my guards. They'll tell you what they need. Until then, you deserve something better than whatever knock-kneed plowneg they gave you. The chestnut over there is a purebred Ferelden Forder. Take care of him, and he'll take care of you, Inquisition. Oh, that is awesome. Got my horse. Good but let's talk you, to him some more and agree. The refugees down at the crossroads could use your help. Right now, any food I give those luckless bastards might as well go to the rebel mages or bandits. Talk to my man, Bron. He'll tell you what those folks need to protect themselves. Once that's done, I'll give as I can. I've no problem with charity, long as it's not wasted. What can you tell me about the wilderness around here? Got some old ruins in the forest, from long before any king of Ferelden. The lakes are pretty, though when the weather's odd, you hear tell of spirits. Beyond that, my daughter Sienna set up a track just over there. Fool girl likes to race the horses. You said your wife Elena is in charge of the farms. Yes. A lot of families work our land. They work for us and we take care of them. Elena knows the farms better than I do. Knows what they need. I imagine not being killed by anything would be a start, though. You said you were once Arl Amon's stable master? Master of the mounts. Fereldans don't appreciate horses like they do in Orlay, but they knew my name in Val Royo. My horses took sick less and carried a man longer than any of those fancy prancers they've got. You take care of my people, and I'll make sure your Inquisition is riding right. Farewell. Make her be with you. Alright guys, we are in really good luck. So I... What is... What is that? What is it telling me? Do I have to go upstairs? Hold on, guys. Let's see if we go. We need anything. Oh, I guess I do need to go upstairs. Let's read. Hard in Hightown, Chapter 1, by Varric Tethras. They say coin never sleeps, but anyone who's walked a patrol of Hightown Market at midnight might disagree. The pickpockets and confidence men head to the taverns at dusk. The dwarven businessmen and nobles go back to their tiny palaces to fret over the ways they got treated, and the market falls silence. Don and Brenokovic knew every angle of the market with his eyes closed. Twenty years of patrols had etched it into him so that he walked to beat even in his dreams. The recruit, Jevelin, was another story. The ring of steel striking stone told Donnan that the kid had stumbled into a column again. His new armor would be full of dents by sunrise. Torches would make this easier. The sound of Jevelin hauling himself off the pavement was like a tinker's cart crashing. Torches make you night blind. You'll adjust. Donnan crossed the square to help the kid to his feet. A breeze scurried across the plaza, sending the banners and pennants shivering and carrying an old, familiar scent. Donnan stopped in his track. Something's wrong. His voice was low, warning. He peered into the dark, up at the mezzanine just above them. Follow me. Be ready for trouble. The two guards climbed the dark stairs and there, in a the puddle shadow, found the body. Gold trim sat and glittered through the blood. Get the captain, Don inside. We've got a dead magistrate. Okay, I had to read it. It's written by Varric. I know I wasn't going to read codexes, but that's not a codex. That's Varric stuff. And then let's loot this. Get our free marches banner. We're going to go back downstairs, outside, guys. And this will be the end of the sixth Let's Play for Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm already feeling way more confident about this game than I was earlier. I will talk to you guys later. Until then, take care. I know of the Chantry's denouncement, and I am familiar with those behind it. I won't lie to you. Some of them are grandstanding, hoping to increase their chances of becoming the new divine.